Well, on this one, guys, the main important thing is, you know, first thing we want to look into direct substitution. So we just look at 3 and say, all right, um, 3 squared is going to be 9. We have negative 13 times 3 is going to be a negative 39. So 9, negative 39 plus 30 is a negative 9. Negative 9, positive 9, that goes to 0. That doesn't work. So therefore, next thing we want to do is look into factoring. And if we look into factoring, we have x plus 3. Over here, we say, what two numbers multiply to give me 30, add to give me negative 13. One example here is going to be they both need to be negative, right? To multiply to give me positive 30, they both have to be negative. And, and because they're going to add to give me negative 13, so I got x minus 10 times x minus 3. Please do not try to divide these out. They are not exactly the same. Yes, the values are the same, but it's 1's plus, 1's minus, so they do not divide out. So therefore, we need to use our smaller numbers as we're getting closer and closer to 3 from the left. So a number that's really, really close to 3 from the left, you could say would be 2.9. Right? And let's just, I'm just changing it up for each one. 2.9 plus 3, all over 2.9 minus 10 times 2.9 minus 3. You guys agree, it doesn't matter if you do 2.9, 2.99, 2.999, right? It really doesn't matter. You just want to get something either that's on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, but that's really, really close. And again, all we're now trying to do is decide is this going to be positive or is this going to be negative? So obviously this turns into a positive, this turns into a negative, and this turns into a negative. Well, negative times negative, so it looks like this. Well, negative times negative is a positive. Positive divided by positive is a positive, so it goes to positive infinity.